Hello, everyone. Good evening, good morning, whenever and wherever you are watching this. I'm Jennifer. I'm your host tonight. And I have been a tarot reader for over 10 years. Um, I also do multiple things from Reiki, sound therapy, um, mediumship, channeling. I do a little bit of everything, but at the end of the day, I'm simply a channel of spirit providing guidance to those who find me. And so if you joined me before, you know that I like to open up with a reading for the collective. And I usually keep this just within the week. So these are energies within the week just to be aware of. So you can go out and walk forward a little bit easier. You know what to expect within the next seven days. And as of right now, it seems a lot of people are finally getting recognition or you have a loved one getting public recognition. Um, it, may not necessarily be like a whole parade of good job you did it but more of like okay like i see that you've been really working hard and like i really appreciate that so if you are one of those people who have been working so hard um others are going to really start appreciating what you're doing with them um and so there is a time of Let's see, I'm seeing the number six. So what that tells me is that it is a good week to find balance. So it's equal giving and receiving. So if you have any type of imbalance in your relationships, um, such as you feel like you are giving more in a relationship, um, it is a time to make sure that you are receiving just as much as you give, because it's very important to have that balance in all parts of your life. And so that is very fantastic on coming forward because you're also coming into a path a time of creativity so you're thinking of new things and as you're being recognized for the things that you have done over the past years um people are going to come to you more they kind of want to work with you a little bit more as well so people may come ask you to hang out or they may want to collaborate with you even so keep an open mind with that if you have been wanting to start a new project you're going to find a right partner to do that whether it's a romantic partner because you want to start a family or you're looking for a business partner that you can sign contracts with for at least on a building or something that is coming towards you so just continue to work towards that Find that balance and you'll do great this week. And we have um, a caller today. So we have Christy from Canada. Hello, Christy. How are you? Krista, how are you? I'm good. Good. What can I do I'm for today? Good, yeah. Do you have questions? Um, I don't, don't really have a question, but like I had a well, I had a hard year. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I just want to hear something good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we do like to hear good news after periods of unrest. Yeah, I, I'm automatically seeing, I'm seeing a lot of major arcana coming up. So that tells me it's a very big year for you as far as growth. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay. Yeah, at the at the time, I do see that you are um, maybe struggling a little bit with a lack of confidence. You may not necessarily know where you need to go next, or you feel like you're stuck in a situation. Um, but what I like about this, even though it may feel uncomfortable with you, you are learning a lot. Um, and the things that you are learning is helping you find a different perspective on life. And it's like you're finally beginning to peel away the layers and get to the source of you. Um, so it's very important during this time period to be yourself. And if you're not necessarily in that position where you know yourself or um, you can be yourself, then those things are being released because it's about releasing everything that's not you, releasing the things that don't serve your highest and greatest good. So while it may be a very uncomfortable year, you may have had many situations, possibly some, um, health situations too, you are learning. So I do see that there has been a need for balance in your past situation. And you are coming up in the near future, I would say within the next four to five weeks is what I'm hearing, is that you may actually have a few arguments with people around you. Do you have a brother?
Can you hear me, Krista? No, I don't have. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. I don't have a brother. No. Okay, so you don't have a brother. Um, do you have a masculine energy, um, roughly around the same age of you, or a bit, a few years younger that you work with at all that you may argue often with, or just not agree with? I have a partner. Yeah. Okay, so um, keep an eye on that because it does seem like arguments are coming to the forefront. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean anything bad because what, it's just there's going to be some difficulties finding that balance and yeah. somebody wanting to take kind of like the authority position, the other person not necessarily like communicating their needs as well. So just be aware that within the next four to five weeks that the the tension will be rising. Okay, as that makes sense because we'll yeah. be stepping into holidays as well. Yeah. So again, okay. you are in a transition phase and you do have invitations, it seems like coming your way. So let's see, what source, what are you trying to tell me? So you may um, be receiving more invitations. Again, it's near the holidays, so this does, isn't surprising, but um, to either dinners or family events, these things are gonna bring you joy, it's gonna bring you connections to people. Just be aware of the underlying tension and try to not dive into other people's issues at this time. Because I do see like, mm -hmm. you feel like you're missing out on a lot of things, potentially with that. Um, in romance as well, it may not necessarily be what you want in this moment, but uh, continue to dive into your emotions and stand your ground. Um, compromise okay. is fantastic in relationships, um, romantic friendships, business, but there comes a point, are you compromising or are you letting things go? Or are you saying this is the only way it can be done? So it's important that you do defend your beliefs and your decisions, but you to choose your battles wisely as well. Where can you compromise? Where can you walk away from an argument? And when do you actually need to step up because you have something to say? Again, I do see a lot of anxiety almost and a lack of self-confidence. So it seems like over the year, you've just been like, it's the hammer chipping away off of the marble and you're getting worn down. But in the process, you are becoming this beautiful art piece, this beautiful sculpture. Um, but you really need to focus on that health and that balance because when you become unbalanced, your body starts to get stressed out and then you may be um, experience more stress related health issues. And as the longer it goes on, you know, the worse is gonna get and start like, turning into other things as well. So we really want to help keep the stress levels good <laughs> so your physical body isn't agitated, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And so for advice coming forward, I do have the justice and the hermit here. So it would be a good time for you to perhaps isolate yourself, especially if you've been struggling throughout this year and possibly not <laughs> diving into some arguments. So spend some time with yourself and really understand what it is that you need to feel balanced. Um, if you had somebody said something that was you thought was mean or somebody did something to you that was just unfair, really sit on that and figure out what was your role in that situation. How were you reacting in everything that has happened this year? Were you acting as your best self or was you reacting from a place where your insecurities were, was talking? And so if you dive into that and you deal with the emotions now, you'll get the wheel turning again. So you'll go from that, okay, it's been hard and we're flipping it over to have more good luck. Do you have a birthday coming up? Mm, my son's birthday. <laughs> Not my okay. own birthday, but my birthday next month. Okay. So the next birthday related event that you go to, <laughs> and, and this is gonna sound a little bit strange, but 
whether it's, it's on your birthday or if it's on someone else's birthday, whatever event that you go to next, you are hitting a milestone and you'll have a realization. Um, it may not necessarily be at the party, but you'll just have the, a realization, okay, of like, I'm actually closing a chapter in my life, okay? There was heartbreak, um, there were struggles, there was tension, there was a lot of sadness, and it's saying, we're we're finally through the thick of it, okay? And we're ready to go to the next stage. So that milestone of the birthday of the next event that you go to is really um, that point where, okay, the worst of it's over, it's been over, now it's time for me to let this go to allow the next cycle to go through. Um, because I do see that sadness. I do see that you have been procrastinating a little bit too, but it's more of a lack of energy rather than a lack of motivation. So if you do have a decision coming forward, that isn't necessarily what you want to do. If you don't want to make the decision yet, or you don't know what decision to make, do your research because it's not something to just make on the fly. Um, again, it comes back into challenging beginnings. You're turning your life into this beautiful sculpture. <laughs> I'm not turning this into a pep talk now, but you are moving forward to that new beginning. And you are gonna have communication come through that helps push you through that new beginning as well. So if you had that stagnant piece where you're like, nothing's changing and I've been stuck in this rut, everything seems like it's been hard, um, that is being pushed forward. So if you've been waiting on any type of legal news as well, um, or any type of settlement of some type within the justice system, you will be getting news from that very quickly. So keep your eye out, out for that. So you can go forward because it's developing a new relationship with yourself, trusting your own intuition, not just what someone else tells to you, and really allowing yourself to care for yourself and for the people you care for because you love them and it's not out of duty or out of expectations that you have to care for them. Okay. Do you need any clarifiers? Um, no, no. Okay. All right, in that case, let's just see if we can get you one more thing of advice. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping, if you're worrying at night, if you have those anxious thoughts, okay, it's it's okay that you're in this time period. You are moving out of that time period. So just any delays are gonna be passed over. So just stick into that emotion, finding yourself, and you are gonna find more contentment. It's just gonna take a few more weeks for everything to settle back down, okay? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Krista. I hope you have a great night. And then with all the situations, I hope your next year becomes bountiful and it's full of joy. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining and I'll see you next week. Until then, have a beautiful life. Bye.